thought that was the mouth of the creek over there but it's not it's been washed away with storms and it's actually opened up the mouth is more up that away this is the boat ramp within the caravan park a couple of old folk going fishing on their ski fish cleaning table just there and coming back this way. This is our setup on the corner. Dave's going to get the tinny off today, put the registration numbers on, do a few more little things, and then we might take it out tomorrow and give it a test run. Now again. I kept a lot of the windows shut because the mozzies actually um, sprayed some of the screens. But as you can see from here, nice view. Just going to take a walk up to the office from our site. And walk way through to the water. It's so quiet. There's no pool at this park, only some swings, so. I guess there's not many kids around. Plus it's not school holiday time and it's a Wednesday. This is the little holiday park kiosk. They sell a lot of different things. Like we're here and you've got more Park Beach, Burnett Heads, Bagara, Elliot Heads and, and then you've got Woodgate which is like down this area too. It's good. It's 
So this is where we are here. Yeah, so just there. And there's a, um, like there's a little beach at Norval. And, and this is the Cal Calan. Calan River. So in the shop, there's lots of little knickknacks. If you forget anything while you're out here. Some basic food. Well, you've got your ice creams. A lot of fishing tackle. Bait. Telephone out the front. They sell ice. Got gas there. You need to fill your gas bottles. Looking where I'm looking now, there's a lot of permanent vans. This park is more permanent than tourist. The dump point. It's good that it's fenced off from like little kids. This is that really leafy green area where the barbecue is. So all down this way, right along the river, is unpowered sites. So if you don't need power, down there would be a nice spot on the river. They're encouraging people just to use the walkways because they're trying to grow the vegetation and bring it back to life along here. And then walking back down the front to where um, we are. Beautiful big trees. They collect all their containers for Make-A-Wish, containers for change fundraiser. So all that money goes to Make-A-Wish Foundation, which is really good. Good to see, this is a council park, so it's good to see the council are doing something like that. So they fenced it all off so people don't walk on the dunes there and they're just trying to grow some more vegetation. Anyway, that's Myra Holiday Park on the Kalan River. I hope that showed you a little bit about the place. It is a nice quiet spot. Just a few little midges and mosquitoes at sunrise and sunset. Everybody's friendly. And the good thing about it, you've got the boat ramp right in the caravan park here. So there's no public access to that boat ramp. It's just the people within the park. And it's just gorgeous. It's really, really gorgeous. Ah, uh, yep, we're back again. Here we are at the Bundy Rum Factory. All right, this morning we're going for a tour to see how rum is made. And also inside they have a uh, museum. Apparently the tours run on the hour every hour and they recommend rocking up 40 minutes beforehand to spend time in the uh, museum. They all call the tours close at three o'clock. Um, as you can see around, you've got the uh, sugar mills and stuff over there to the right. You've got the Bundaberg Rum Distillery store in there. We'll show you through there. There's that many bottles of rum and different types of liqueurs. It's not funny. In the middle here is where we sit and do a bit of rum tasting after the tour. And on the left hand side is where the uh, tours are and the museum itself. So uh, come on in and we'll see what we can find. Make sure you do your safety check in Queensland. If we know what's best for one another, are we just another project? We're both fixer up. This vat, vat 100, was the first vat to produce the legendary Bundaberg Black Premium Rum, released in 1995. Starting a tradition that continues to excite Bundaberg Rum fans to this very day.
What are you trying here today? Uh, okay, so uh, as part of the tour, they give you two drinks of your choice for what they have on offer. So at the moment, the one here is a what they call Solero. Solero. It's, Solero. it's $180 a bottle, and it is their top range um, rum. The one that I have here is a salted caramel liqueur with a little bit of cream in top. Over here, this one's been done on a, or in, a hundred year port barrel. Um, and it is called, what else help me out here? Vintage. Vintage, okay, it is a vintage rum. The liqueur that we have here is the uh, coffee and chocolate, and chocolate uh, liqueur. So we're gonna give those a bit of a taste. Um, obviously they sell all of these in the shop and um, you're quite welcome to buy as many bottles or as less bottles as you want. I'm not a rum drinker, I'm a bourbon drinker or a beer drinker. Um, so I'll give them a go and I'll see how it works out. This is the blend your own rum experience. You actually get to blend your own mix and you can actually put your own name on the bottle and take away. And if you really like that rum that you've made, you can just reorder the same and get it delivered to your house, which is pretty cool. In circles, but I'm still on the ground. It's a dizzying day. I would give love to get away. Hey guys, it's that time again. Joke time with Dave. What do you call a lamb dressed in a skeleton suit on Halloween? Bad. <laughs> Bad. I can't do it. Okay, do it. just do that again. Bad to the bone. Bad. <laughs> How do you fucking do it? Bad. Bad. I can't be a fucking lamb. Bad. Just go bad to the bone. Bad to the bone.